Microsoft complicates the life of Windows users by forcing them to log into a Microsoft account. That sucks. What is interesting is that probably you have never had this account. And maybe after watching this video, you will never create one. Today, I will show you two, in my opinion, the best ways to bypass Microsoft account in Windows 11. Most likely, these methods will be still relevant in 2024. So keep that in mind. Also, don't worry, because you don't need to unplug the internet cable or open CMD to do this. Long story short, the first method is almost suitable for everyone. And the second one is for those who never want to see a message about entering a Microsoft account, which is handy. Believe it or not, but everything is very simple. You just need to repeat after me. So let's get started. Regarding to the first method, you will see this window, unlock your Microsoft experience with Microsoft account. Actually, Microsoft don't provide any other option. We have only one option to sign in. So click on sign in. The method is very easy, so please take a close look. First of all, you can type anything you want, but I do not recommend to type an email because after typing a random email, Microsoft may ask you to confirm your email. It may send a letter to this email and then you will not will be able to confirm it. That's why I recommend to type only words. For example, I always typed Andre, I think you can try to use the same word. You can type even not Andre, you can type like Dan. After this, you need to click on next. And you need to type random words or random numbers. Literally one, two, three, four. So you can see one, two, three, four. And then you just need to click sign in. As you can see, that's all that you need to do. And now you will be able to use a local account. So click on next, type user, for example, click on next. In this window, it's not necessary to create a password, but if you wish, you have such an option. I will click just on next. Then you can disable or enable this option. To be honest, it's optional. If you ask me, I always disable them. Click accept. And voila, now you are able to use Windows 11 without Microsoft account. Regarding to the second method, you can just create a bootable USB stick. And in the installation process, Microsoft will just not ask you to enter a Microsoft account and it will use a local account by default. So actually all the process are very simple. You need to open your browser, then you need to navigate to the Microsoft official website. So you can just type Windows 11 download press enter then you will see this website microsoft.com a link i will leave in the video description from this website we will download the latest windows version iso which is 23 h2 version scroll down a little bit until you will see download windows 11 disk image iso for x64 devices click here and select windows 11 multi-edition iso select download now and choose the language the most suitable for you. For example, I will select English United States, click confirm, just wait a sec. And after this, you just need to click on 64-bit download. Now loading process will begin. As you can see, I already downloaded Windows 11 ISO. Here it is, Win 11 23H2. After downloading Windows 11 ISO, you need to open browser one more time and we need to download Rufus. So type Rufus, download and press enter. For people who don't know, Rufus is an open source, quite unique utility which will help us to create a bootable USB stick and more. In our case, we will navigate to the downloads. Link I will leave in the video description. From this page, we can download the latest relevant version. So here we have the portable version. That is, we will not need to install it on our laptop. It will run as a portable application. Click here and downloading process will begin. We succeed. Now we can open the folder and close the browser. 
Let's talk about next step. You need to insert your USB stick into the laptop. The minimum space of your flash drive must be 8 GB of storage. So be sure that your USB stick has at least 8 GB of storage. I successfully inserted USB drive into the laptop. Now we can run this utility. Rufus. Select yes. Do you want to allow Rufus to check for application updates online? I will select no, because this is the latest portable version. In the device section, you need to select your USB stick. Indeed, this is my flash drive. I will click here. Now we need to select Windows ISO. Be sure that here you have disk or ISO image. Then click on select. And I will navigate to the desktop to select Windows 11 23 H2 English. Click on open. In the image option, you need to select standard Windows installation. Then you can leave this option by default if you have a newer system, but if you have an unsupported, quite old laptop, you can change GPT to MBR and then it will boot in legacy. But most laptops and computers boot perfectly without any issues in UEFI, so I recommend to select a GPT partition. Now you can click on start, I want to warn you that all data will be deleted from your USB stick. We have very convenient window because we will be able to bypass Microsoft account. We need to select create a local account and also we will remove requirements for an online Microsoft account. It will be more than enough. Also, we have a lot of other options like removing requirements for an unsupported PC, disable data collection etc. It will depend on you whether you want to do this or not. I want to remind you that this is a video on how to bypass Microsoft account, so we will click OK. One more time warning you that all information will be deleted. Actually that's all, now you just need to wait until it will create a bootable USB stick with Windows 11 23 H2 and then you will be able to install Windows 11 on a laptop or PC. And the most important part is that during Windows installation you can use a local account by default. That's mean Microsoft will not ask you to enter a Microsoft account, which in my opinion is handy. My conclusions. Both of these methods work without any problems and you don't have to create a Microsoft account just to use Windows 11. As I said before, the first method works almost for everyone. About the second one. In my opinion, it's great to have such a flash drive with Windows 11. Just imagine, you will be able to install it on a different laptops and PCs without having an annoying message that you need to enter a Microsoft account. It's worth it. Let me know in the comments below what do you think about this. If this video was helpful for you, please like it and I recommend watching this video about utility that can delete Microsoft Edge browser.